Hi guys, my name is Courtney and this is Classics of Courtney. And today I'm going to be talking about all the books that I'm going to be reading in this semester of college. This is one of my favorite videos to film, basically like a big TBR book of what I have to read and since I'm a good student I will be reading it. <laughs> no matter what, I will read these books and I have quite a lot of reading this semester of college so Chances are I won't be reading a lot of fun books, but I will be reading these. Like I said, I am very busy this semester of college. I am doing a year-long distinction thesis project, which means I have to like do a 25 page paper about a text. Along with that, my university requires me to take a graduate course, so I'm taking a course with a lot of PhD students and MFA students, and it's a little bit intimidating, but it is a lot of fun. I just have a lot. Of reading to do. One of my classes is a writing workshop so I don't really have a lot of books to read in that class. I do have a lot of short stories. A couple of my other classes are just um, finishing up my requirements so that I can graduate. I have an HOA which is a history of art class. I have an AAS class which is an African American studies class. For this class I am reading Things Fall Apart by Achebe. One of my favorite essay article things is him talking about Heart of Darkness. I really, really love that essay. It's really well done and it really convinced me like how we think about older texts in relation to race and stuff. And so I've been wanting to read this book for a really, really long time. So I'm very excited to do so. One of the other novels we're going to be reading is A Small Place by Jamaican Kincaid. Jamaican Kincaid isn't my favorite author, but I end up reading one of her books every single year, it seems like. I've also read Lucy by her and and I, I read another, oh, Anna John, I read Anna John by her. So this is a new novel for me. I don't know what it's about. Probably um, set in Jamaica, probably, or America, but it is by Jamaican Kincaid. So it's probably a hit or miss for me. I didn't like the first book I read by her. I did like the second book I read by her. I think I'll end up enjoying this, but I don't think it'll be my favorite. Another class I'm taking is I'm finally taking a Victorian literature class. I've been wanting to take one of these for a really, really long time. I've been wanting to study Jane Eyre in an academic setting for so long. Basically, I saw that they were reading Jane Eyre in this class, so I decided, hey, I'm gonna take this class so I can read Jane Eyre too. Yes, I'm reading Jane Eyre. That is a part of what we're reading. I think we're reading this next actually, so I'm really, really excited about this. So yeah, it's gonna be lots of fun. I love this book, it's so great. The book we're reading right now in my Victorian literature class is David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. It's a very interesting text. I definitely really enjoy it so far. It's basically about this young boy, David Copperfield, and him growing up. I kind of like the relationships he has with different people, you know, different things. It's a really interesting book and I really am enjoying it. Another book we're reading is The History of Mary Prince by Mary Prince. Prince, I believe. This is like a captive slave story that was happening during the Victorian time. My class is specifically focusing on women, but it's also focusing on gender, class, and race. I'm really excited for this book because I know nothing about it, but I think it will be really interesting and important to our class. Another book we're reading is Elizabeth Barrett Browning's Aurora Lay and Other Poems. I believe we're just reading Aurora, but yes. I have no idea what this is about, but I was talking with my teacher and she thinks I'll like it, so we'll see. Then another book that I think is for this class, <laughs> all my books are getting mixed up, is Charlotte Temple and Lucy Temple um, by Susanna Rosen. I don't know anything about this, but I'm reading it for my class, so I should like it because I like all the books in this class so far. Now we're going to get into what I'm reading for my graduate course. It is a pretty dense course. I'll try to skip the textbooks because you guys don't need to hear all the boring texts I'm reading. The first book that we have already read is The Tempest by William Shakespeare. My graduate course is like um, early Americans, so you know this isn't written by an American obviously, but it does have like colonialism kind of in there if you don't know that. I love this play, I love William Shakespeare, so it was a lot of fun to reread. Yeah, so I'm glad that this was one of the texts because this is definitely what I'm writing my first essay on because I'm lazy and I don't want to do something harder. I'm honestly not really sure how many of these books are actually like book books or if they're all just kind of like resources because at this time like book books weren't like super big. Actual novel things weren't like a big thing until like the 1700s, 1800s. So like a lot of these texts are not, are more like pamphlety stuff or like accounts. Like they're not super like novel books because it wasn't really a thing yet. So we're also reading Common Sense by Thomas Paine. I read this last year. Should be easy. Should be lots of fun. We're also reading Of Plymouth Plantation by William Bradford. I've heard the name William Bradford before, like, and I'm pretty sure this is just like more of an account of like Plymouth, but I don't know, 
we'll see. We're also reading Mary Sicole, Wonderful Adventures of Miss Sicole in Many Lands. I mean, this sounds like a travel story, but we'll see. I'm sure it'll be very intriguing because all of the texts in this course are very just kind of not out there, but they're very interesting. And we're also reading Wineland and Memories of Carwin the Bioquist by Charles Brocken Brown. Again, have no idea what this is about, but I have to read it, so I will be. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this kind of college TBR college haul. If you've read any of these books, let me know what you think about them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later and keep it classy.